Hello everyone, welcome back to my video tutorial for spatial sequencing data analysis. So at the moment, many researchers use the VZM HD technology to generate their spatial data set. Because this technology can obtain the whole transcriptome spatial gene expression at the single cell scale resolution. If you use this technology and generate your spatial data set, then you need to use the Space Ranger software and analyze your data. So in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download the Space Ranger software, then install and run the software on high-performance computer. You can see here is the 10 times genomic website. We can use the wget function to download the Space Ranger 3.1.2 software. We can copy the link. Then we can go to the high performance computer. You can see I logged into my high performance computer account. We can paste the link here. Then we can download the software. Okay, you can see it is very quick. It only takes 3.5 seconds to download the software. So now we can unzip the Space Ranger software. Okay, it is done. We can have a look at the files in my folder. You can see we have the new folder named as Space Ranger 3.1.2. And also here is the files that we downloaded from the 10 times genomics website. So we can remove this file. So next we need to download the reference data. You can see for my demonstration, I'm going to use a VZM HD mouse data set. So I need to download the mouse reference data from the 10 times genomics website. You can see we scroll down, you can see the reference. Here is the human reference. If you have the human spatial data set, you need to download the human reference data. Because I'm using the mouse data set for demonstration, so we need to download the mouse reference data set. So we can copy the link again, then download the mouse reference data.
Okay, you can see we downloaded the most reference data set. It took 53 seconds. We can have a look at my files again. You can see now we have the most reference data set here. Because it is a compressed data, we need to unpack the data. So we can use the code to unpack the data. And at the same time, we will remove the compressed files. Okay, we need to change the code. Let's write again. You can see we unpacked the files. It generated a new folder named by the mouse reference data set. Okay, we unpacked the mouse reference data. We can have a look at the files again. You can see now we have a folder named by the mouse reference data set. So we downloaded and unpacked both Space Ranger software and the mouse reference data set. Now we can export the Space Ranger function to current pass. We can use the code here to export the pass. Now we should be able to run the space range count function. So before we analyze our VZM HD mouse data, we can do a test run to see if we can run the space range count function. So let's do the test run. Okay, you can see. It is running. That means we correctly installed the Space Ranger software. Okay, we finish the test run. We should generate an output folder in my account. We can have a look at this folder. So you can see in my account, we generated a folder named the tiny for the test run. We can double click the folder and have a look at the files inside. You can see here we have the out folder. We can double click on this one again. You can see in here we have the filtered feature BC matrix, raw feature BC matrix, and the spatial information. We also have the filtered feature BC matrix H5 file. If we click the filtered feature BC matrix folder, you can see the barcode features and the matrix. So now we can run the VGMHD mouse non-data set. You can download the data from 10 times genomics website. You can see here are the input files for Space Ranger software. We have the site assist image and the max scope image for the fast queue sequencing data and also the CSV file for the probe set. You can see the sequencing data set is around 68.3 GB. It takes time to download the data. So I downloaded the data already. You can use the link here and the wget function to download the data.
we can go to my account. You can see in my Visual HD mouse long folder, we can double click. You can see here we have the sequencing fast kill files, we have the image files, and also the probe set. So now we can get the code to run the space range count function to analyze the VGM HD mouse long data set. We can paste the code here. Okay, you can see we are going to run the space range count function. The ID will be the VGM HD mouse long fresh frozen tissue. So for the ID, you can give a folder name for your tissue information or research project. Then the reference data will be the mouse reference data. We downloaded and unpacked the data in this folder. Then we give the path for the fast file files and also image files and the probe set. If you have a cyto assist image, you don't have to provide the serial number for the slide and also the area because the software area automatically obtained both information from the cyto assist image. I put here is just for demonstration. You can also set the create bomb files argument as false or true. So here are the settings for how much resources we want to use for the high performance computer. Now we can run the code here to analyze the VGM mouse HD data set. Okay, you can see it is running. It will take quite a while to finish the analysis. After the analysis, we should have an output folder. I'm not going to show you here, but we can have a look at the output folder on the 10 times genomics website. So you can see here are the input files for space range software. Then after the analysis, we should have the output and the supplemental files. You can see here, after the analysis, we should have all the files listed here. You can use the loop file to look at the gene expression on the tissue, and also you can use the bint output to generate a short object and perform your own analysis. I have a video tutorial to show you how to analyze the VGM HD data. For the human pancreas tissue, you can watch that video if you want to perform your own analysis. So you can see the computer is running the analysis. I'm going to stop the demonstration from here. Hope this video tutorial could help your spatial data analysis.